He might have a fish. I'm not sure. Can somebody double check? I moved my family seven across the country in a 16 foot U-Haul and a 20 foot Lund boat to live on water access only Dog Island so I could jig for monsters on the Gulf of Mexico. My process to catch big fish has got hundreds of fish species all over the world, but my absolute favorite type of fishing is amberjack fishing. Growing up in Minnesota, I dreamed of fishing the oil rigs and towers in the Gulf of Mexico. I saw people jigging for AJs and my quest to catch a hundred pounder was on. While commercial fishing with my buddy Tommy Merrill, he taught me AJ jigging, AKA my happy place. After 15 years of service, it was time to make the dream happen. While weighing the monster amberjack at the end of this video, the scale broke. I am no scientist, but we may have met the goal this day. We got a beautiful day today. We're gonna go try to catch some amberjack, get some big giant monsters in the boat. Let's see if, uh, if we're gonna win or if they're gonna win. Hopefully the sharks don't win. Couldn't have better conditions. I mean, I'd take maybe 10, 15 degrees cooler. Fish of the day, guys. Look good. <clears throat> He might have a fish. I'm not sure. Can somebody double check? <laughs> the fun was here. Are you feeling the burn yet? No, let him beat you, Raphael. You guys, our lines are getting close, close, close together. We got doubled up here. When one fish isn't enough, we'll go two. Is he on your line? Crap, break it, break it, break it. This is bait, it's another one you caught. You can do it, you can do it! That's a little, little. Do it, you can do it! Don't give up! It's a movie from him anyways, but... It's about an old man that goes out fishing. That is a nice He's got a little sailboat, and a little, he goes out. He's fishing. He's out there for like three days. The original way. Before we had him. Uh, okay, when you start to bite them, come up a little bit slower. Slow and steady, and then reel down fast. All right, there you go. Slow, steady pressure. Reel down quick. There you go. Gotta put that one on your list and watch that one. Nice fish right there. Yeah, I can tell it. It's a 
little bit high on that rod, only about a foot or two over your head. I don't want to break it on you. We might need to get him an ID. He can start cramping up. This thing, this thing, I'm messing around. Maybe you need some beer power. Is you old, need some fuel. Is it old beer thirty. You need fuel. When you're resting. He's resting. You said that was beer. Right, <laughs> This one's a monster. I might need one of you guys to help me get in the boat. I hope it's a monster. It makes it my fit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Raphael. Come on, man. <laughs> I know we're gonna see it, but who's gonna catch it? Uh, I'm gonna tip this way. <laughs> you need some help for real? You've been taking it too easy out on the job site. You need to start humping some logs again. Yep. He's got his guys doing all the work. Now you're telling that, me how you don't work no more. You've been sitting in that truck in the AC a little too much. Yeah, now, now you're paying the price. We're not being conditioned. What were you saying about us lazy salespeople a minute earlier? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's it take us this long. Yeah, no, I fish yeah, in the I don't boat. Know, man, I mean, you guys caught some nice fish and got them in the boat a lot quicker. Well, I'm trying. You better not have no piggy perch on there. <laughs> I don't want the same you get shark, man. Come on, get them up. This is a nice fish. This is probably the best fish we've caught all day. I'm, you hear that, Raphael? I'm cautiously optimistic. This is, this is a beast. But I just don't know how much he's really actually fighting it. <laughs> You're letting him rest too much. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Uh, that's real, a little bit faster on the way down. Slower on the way down, but real fast. There you go. Keep that line nice and tight. Keep that nice bend in the pole. You want to really down. There you go. Has that got much pressure? How hard you guys push on this? Is that like a light right here? Is that like a light bump? Yeah, I mean, it'll kick in the fuel. <laughs> Summer. Summer's empty. Got this. This is going to be our fish. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. I got a big butt. It gets bumped off. You'll notice that. You'll notice that one of my keys is bent. That was from going after a fish. We didn't bring an IV with us. Yeah. A what? An IV? Yeah. I didn't know the Mexican was going to need it. <laughs> Fish, not his face. <laughs> oh man, humanity. A lot of times, sometimes. 
time when these big ones get up, they just kind of give up. Yeah. They don't want to get stuck under the boat. I got something out here that they swim along and they spotted right They get caught up in the, the the anchor on a boat and they'll just drag the boat down. <laughs> they'll jump six, eight feet out of the water and scare the crap out of you. I've so seen them. Yeah. Those are driving along and all of a sudden. That's scary. I've heard yeah, they land on the boat. I don't want to break that rod tip. It'll be hard to get this monster in if you break that rod, I promise. I see them. I see them. color? Say the S word. You say it's a shark? Yeah, Amberjack. Come on, Amberjack. Looks like a big one. Oh my goodness. There's another one with it. Oh, is that what's going on? There's another one behind it. Nope. Oh. Keep his head in the water. That's a monster. Pretty good. Hey, stop, stop. Don't reel anymore. Bring your rod to the first week. Rod to the first week. Brother, that is no flipping joke. He's In all, we caught a bunch of large amberjack this day. A nice gag grouper, vermilion snapper, a bunch of porgies. We limit out an amberjack in about an hour. Larry Joseph, the local fish cleaner said, I've never seen an amberjack that big. That confirmed it, we had a monster. Now we need to blow past that 100 pound mark. The quest now is for a 120 pound amberjack. Huge thanks to Team Dream Job from Atlanta for the hard work on that day of filming. Amberjack fishing is no joke. Their info is below. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate our sponsors, Journeys of St. George Island and Coastal. If you believe what we believe, that the outdoors is not a hobby, but a lifestyle, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your buddies and friends so that we can inspire just that. Thank you. Have a great day.